What up, sports fans? Welcome to Clint City, baby. It's Hip Hop here, that's right. And it's time once again for Hop is Hip Tips, baby. Or a drug deal in a back alley in Clint City. Whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, we got some hot, steamy EFC action on the way, baby. That's right. Hot, steamy EFC action. And, um, I am kind of running a little rough here. I've got, uh... I don't know, my, my recording app and my editing app are not speaking well to each other, so so it's a little rough here. We don't have my fancy intro, my fancy titles, all that stuff, but we'll make do, right? Because that's what we do, baby. It's Urban Rivals, yeah, yeah. And sorry to dump all the, uh, all, the all these videos on you all at once. They've been kind of, I've, I've had kind of a backlog going, as you may have guessed. Uh, because of my recording issues, and so I just dropped them all today. I don't know why, but whatevs. There you go. There you go. It's that hot, that hot action you've been craving. You know what I mean? All at once. But anyway, let's jump into some hot, steamy EFC action. There will be the new level 200 leader coming up on Monday. Um, so that's going to be a thing. So if you're level 200, good for you. I'm not yet. I'm uh, level 160-something, or rather. I don't even know. But anyway, um, here we are. We're in Danger Zone, sitting here in Danger Zone, 131st of Danger Zone, 143 points. And, uh, yeah, I played I played day one and two, but then I just kind of fell off the rest of the week. Sorry about that. But here we are on, on day 6.5. Let's get this going. So hopefully we can jump back into EFC Tower here. We're fighting Zen C13. He's a Titan level 75. He has um, three Sacrums and a Starved Legend. And of course I have an even split of my Montanas and my Raptors. So Raptors are going to uh, do nicely against all of these guys, including Starved Frigging Legend. And my Montanas, well, not so much, but that's okay. You know, two pill Figaro here. I'm gonna turn on my uh, my big cards here. So yeah, Figaro's got his um, his damage minus one going on, so that's nice. You can dr these suckers if need be. And actually, let's see, against Dobbs, he's, what, a 5 power? So he's going to be a 15 attack. That's not going to work. Because then they minus 8 me, and then I'm a 7. Oh, well. Whatevs. I'll deal. I'll friggin' deal. You know what I mean? Get some jet up in this bitch. So here comes Lear Barda. He's going to try to get his heel on. And he will, I'm sure. All right. So he blasts me for, for five, gets his heel going. And now what? Now he's got to toss Murray or Starve Legend. Who's it going to be? He doesn't want to toss Murray, because then I just throw Jet at him, so it's got to be Starved Legend, right? Unless he does toss Murray, and that'll be pretty cool. I'd be okay with that. Come on, Zen. Probably gonna save Mim for next turn when Dobbs Legend is activated. Cause she's a six power against him and steals his bonus. And kills his bonus, so that's awesome. So yeah, here comes Star Friggin' Legend. And uh, he has Brawl, attack plus 5, which isn't really that great, let's be honest. 
Um, let's see if he wants to attack me here. Nice. So we get a nice six damage in there with our girl. And uh, now what? Now I can just toss Mim with no pills pretty much, right? Then just win it with Jet. Pretty much, huh? So yeah, I think we pretty much got this one. Uh, because even if he furies here, I can just fury with Jet next turn and call it a day. You know what I mean? So here comes Murray, and he did fury. And who cares, you know what I mean? So if I hit for 9 here... Oh, I guess it's a draw, isn't it? Whatever. Yeah, it's a friggin' draw. Alright, well, whatevs. Still sitting at 143. Probably should have won that, but I mean, I did outstar him after all. But anyway, he did what he had to, and he won it. So, game two of ten on the way, and we're fighting uh, Memo Twenty. He's a Titan level at forty-one, with a full hand of friggin' Geist. And oh my goodness, he has XU-91. So he tosses zero dead here. And um, obviously on revenge turns, we want to use our... Um, we want to use our raptors so that XU-91 can't copy any good... I don't want him copying my Montana bonus, you know what I mean? So... Plus Angelo here, make him uh, make him pill here with zero dead, and he does. Hits me for four. All right. So it's not a revenge round. So let's toss Idris Morana here, and uh, we'll just one pill. Okay. Not gonna do anything crazy. So here comes Mock. He's just going to toss Mock, probably, right? Nice. So we get our six damage in there. Delish. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. Oh, there we go. Finally. Fetch. Okay, so he tosses Wardom. And, uh, hmm... Wardom can be an 8 times 6, 48 attack. So we'll just be a 49 attack. Actually, 49 plus Fury. No, do we want to do that? No, we don't want to do that. We'll just go 49 attack. So if he Furied here, he did not, in fact, Fury. So we blast him for 6. And now he has to fury against us to get a draw. Can he do it? Yeah, probably. Oh, he didn't fury. Exolande. So we get the win. Delish. I'll take it. Thank you very much. So pick up 26 points there, that puts us at 169 EFC. So that was a good win. I like that. We have an estimated 9 seconds. And uh, we're on 18, 19, 20 seconds. Come on, baby. Give me a match. I, need, I want my match 3. Bring it. Here we go. Battle starting. Let's do this. Alrighty. So 
So this is Camaleon 31, a hero level 34. And he's got a full hand of friggin' Perrons. So what are we going to do about that? Well, hmm, interesting. He doesn't have a whole lot of damage. I mean, he's going to have to... He's going to have to use Wreck Fed, right? So, in that case... Let's toss Figaro with one pill. No, let's not do that. I'm going to toss Mim, actually. And, uh... Make Wreck Fed pill over us. How about that? So instead, he's going to toss Hawkins Noel. Is he going to attack me? That's the question. Uh, we got him. Perfect. So we hit for two. Uh, we got two damage in for one pill there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now here comes Amaral Coco. So we're one pill Figaro here. Perfect. There's another four damage, Exolande, and now what? Well, now, can we just steamroll him here with Jet? What's Jet? A 70 attack? And Wreck Fed would be a 44 plus 12, 50. Yeah, we got him. Sweet. Let's do it. That's a game, baby. Game, set, and match. You know what I'm saying? Mim was game. Figaro was set. Jet is match. Boom. So here comes Wreckfed. Sweet. So Hawkins can hit me for what? Four, I guess, if he wants to. No biggie. No harm, no foul. And we get another nice win under our belts here. Delish. So we pick up 23 points. That puts us at 192 EFC, heading into game 4 of 10. Oh, I see. Chameleon. I get it. I get it. Chameleon 31. Anyway, a couple nice wins in a row here to make up for that round one draw. And maybe one of these days we'll get a match. If the UR gods are kind to us. Anyway, there we go. So yeah, still sporting um, Raptors and Montana. That's what I've been using all week. They seem to be doing pretty well for me. We're fighting Enigma, a hero level 61, with three Vortexes and a Mindy. So that's kind of interesting. And I got um, I got three Raptors and my Ikaro here. So my Raptors are going to handle Mindy and Dag CR pretty nicely. But what am I going to do about Dregan friggin' MT? Well, that's where Jet comes in, I guess. So it looks like he's just going to toss Nilo here. Should I just take it with Ikaro? Probably. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to take it with Hikaru. Hopefully he pilled a little bit. He didn't. 
So he actually um, gets a free, a free one life gap in there. So whatevs. So now what? Now I gotta toss Mim here. Um, toss Mim with no pills. How about that? If he really wants to attack me with Mindy, he can. But no, here comes friggin' Dregan. Alright, so he blasts me with friggin' Dregan. And we're down to, we're down in a nine life hole here. But that's alright. Because let's see, Dag is what, um, he's a nine times four, which is 36. So Jet has to be a, um, seven times six, 42. And Mindy is what? She's a f nine times five, which is 45. So yeah, we can be a 49, no problem. Um, yeah, we got this. Pull that trigger. Let's pull that trigger. Boom. What up, Mindy? I just impregnated you with... I don't even know what the raptors shoot at you. But anyway, whatevs. Um, let's see, here comes Dag, so we'll just get a... We'll get a friggin' KO. Oh, unless he leaves. Alright, fine. Don't let me get the elephant stomp. Whatevs. Pick up 26 points. That puts us at 218 EFC. Oh my goodness. We have three in a row here. Delish. Heading into game five of ten. With three wins and a draw so far today. Not bad at all. So we're fighting Everwake. Colossus level 157. Uh, he has three Kambokas and a Shell. I guess Shell can be an honorary Kamboka, right? That works. And I have three Raptors and my Angelo. And of course, uh, he doesn't have any attack manipulation, so my Raptors bonus is pretty much useless. And of course, I want to use Angelo against Seta or Shell. Because he really doesn't have much effect on Rizam Noel or Kupanda. And other than that, we'll just see what happens. So here comes Kupanda. And he has the uh, he has the advantage against Mim. Of course, Rizam Noel counters Kruger, doesn't he? So I guess we got to throw Kruger here. Um, let's beat Kupanda. She's a what? She's a six power against Kruger. So we have a twenty-eight attack. And if she wants to kill me, I guess she can. Whatevs. Perfect. So we blast her for four. Egg Solande. Now what? Um, now I guess I, do I have to throw Angelo? No, nah, we're not going to throw Angela. We're going to throw friggin' Mim. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to no-pill Mim. Because now I can save Angelo for either Seta or Shell, depending on uh, whichever one he doesn't use this turn. But here comes Shell. Ouch. This is going to hurt. But hopefully he'll pill a little bit. Ah, oh, damn it. So I should have one pilled there, didn't, and I'm paying for it. So um, we're, we're down two life and down two pills. Brutal. I think that's pretty much game. I don't think I can do anything here. Wild gets destroyed by Riz I'm Noel. So here comes Seta. And 
let's see, Wild needs to be, what, a 56? He needs to be a 63 attack to even have a chance of beating Rizom Noel. But pretty sure he's going to beat me with Seta and then beat me with Rizom Noel, so whatevs. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I got him. Sweet. Not that it matters. I still lose, but, you know, whatevs. Rizom Noel is an 8 times 756. Yeah, perfect. So I saved just enough pills. But nonetheless, it's a loss. So I get 6 damage in here with Wild. And uh, we lose 18 points there. That puts us down to 200 EFC points even. 200 even. Uh, we still made we've still made some decent progress so far this session, and we're heading into game six of ten, baby. You ready for this? Let's do it! Yeah, yeah. Battle starting. So we're fighting Totem Five Hundred. He's a hero level twenty-seven with uh, three skills and a friggin' Dikutora here, and uh, I have an, a nice even split here of. Um, Montana and Raptors, but he doesn't have any attack manipulation, so my Raptors bonus is kind of useless. So, I guess I save Angelo for revenge turns or something, so we can try to stop Dukutora here. Anyway, um, Jet gets killed by Arancha and Michael. So that's kind of, that's a little disheartening. Because he's a three power against Arancha and she's a four power against him. So I guess we, sh we shouldn't lead with Jet, right? We should lead with Iris Morana or Wild. So which is our best choice here? Aris Morana is a three power against Arancha. Dang. Three times three is nine. Let's do it. He's probably gonna stuff me with Yomi though, right? Oh, he is going to toss Arancha. Okay, fine. Let's see if he attacks here, or if he just takes it. Nice. Perfect. So we hit him for three uh, at the cost of one pill. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And now, of course, it is a revenge turn, but I'm pretty sure he's going to toss Michael here. Oh, really? Is he going to toss Dikutor? Okay. I'm cool with that. So he tosses Dikutor here. And, uh, cool, I'm just going to one-pill Angela. And he might get through for four here, but, you know, what else? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Hit first two there. Okay. So that's freaking game, baby. Because, um, what, Yomi is going to be like a 44 attack. And Jet is a 8 times 6, which is 48. Should we Fury? You know what? We can. No, I don't want to do that, actually. Yeah, I don't want to do that, actually. We're just going to hit. And then uh, maybe we'll get some minus life points with wild next turn. You know what I mean? So either way, we get the KO.
So another nice win here. Boom. Hit for seven with Jet. Now he can blast us all he wants with Michael. And uh, Wild's going to get us the KO. So let's get us a Nightmare KO here, shall we? Not even going to pill. So we get some nice mission points here with Wild. Ah, oh, we don't get a we don't get a nightmare KO really. All right, well, what ups? We get a KO nonetheless. We pick up twenty three points there. That puts us at two twenty three EFC, heading into game seven of ten. Delish. We're fighting El Aguilas here, Colossus level one twenty one. El Aguilas is of course the eagle, and uh, let's see. He has a full hand of friggin' Hudakan here, and I have three of my raptors, which which will be nice. That'll work. Let's toss Mim to start with here. Um, we're gonna two pill Mim. She gets to steal their their nice hefty Hudakan bonus here. So I like that. He's gonna toss. Is he gonna toss Gatu Chica here? Yep. Gatu Chica here. Boom. So we hit for two. Exolande. Now uh, he's got revenge with La Garra. Is he going to attack with Lagara? If he does, I'll just blast her with Jet. Because I don't want Jet to get hit with El Jaguar, right? Yes, yeah, so here comes Lagara, and um, I need to be. What, I'm a 7 times 5, which is 35. That'll work. Either I'll beat her, or she'll spend a dick ton of pills to try to beat me. Perfect. So there's our 7 damage in there. Delish. And now... Now what? I guess I can just go all in with Kruger, right? Um... Let's see, Derby Queen is a 5, so she's a 50 attack. I'm a 7 times 7, which is 49. Well, in that case, I guess I need to... Um, I guess I'll just 1 pill. Here comes friggin' Derby Queen. She's a five power, and I destroy her. Egg Solande. Right in the butt. <laughs> Alright, here comes El Jaguar. And uh, he can't do jack squat to Figaro. I mean, he can beat me, but it ain't gonna be enough. Because you're at one life, boy. We'll toss all our pills anyway, just to make it interesting. So he blasts us for six, and we escape with the win. Delish. Nice hefty 26 points there. That puts us at 249 EFC. Heading into game eight of ten. And uh, we have an impressive number of wins so far today. I think we have one loss and a draw, uh, which means we have six six wins so far today. We're fighting KN Zumak. He's an Imperator level 99, and he has... An even split here of Vortex and um, Uppers. And I have an even split of Montana and uh, Raptors. 
And of course my raptors are going to be good against Dag and his other uppers, so that's cool. So, I guess I guess against Dag, we just want to toss Kruger here with um, three go thirty five. No, we don't need to go that hard, do we? Let's see. Dag's a five power. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll just toss three pills here. Oh, perfect. We perfect pilled him there, but of course he gets pills back because he's a friggin' vortex. So uh, we got a we got a four life gap for two pills. Now what? Well, now we'll toss Mim with no pills and uh, make his uppers pill over us. Either that or we uh, blast Nilo for two. Nope, here comes MacArthur. So he's going to have to pill here. And he did. So he hits us for four. So that's good. That evens the life gap, and now we're up two pills. I like it. So here's Maurice. Uh, let's see. I guess we can just act, we can actually just win it with Itis Monana here, right? So um, Maurice is a five power. Eight times five is forty minus two. He's a thirty-eight. So if we go, yeah, that's game. Hit for five. Call it a day. Delish. And we'll just take it with Figaro. And Nilo can fury for three. How about that? How you like me now, Nilo? Booyah. So there's another delicious win. Pick up 29 points. That puts us at 278 EFC. Squarely in EFC tower. Delish. We just invaded. We just kicked the door down and said, What up? We're staying here, bitches. And this is game 9 of 10. So let's do this. We're fighting the Nazarcam. He's a Titan, level 87. And uh, he has a full hand of frigging uh, bangers here. So... Two of his bangers have attack manipulation. Oh, except I didn't draw any friggin' raptors. I've got Montana's instead. So... Hmm. Plus one attack per pills left. Screw it, I'm going to fight him here. I'm going to attack him with Itis Morana. Is that smart? That's not smart, is it? we gotta, we got to play smart here, you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to toss Angelo and make him pill over us. How about that? Sweet. So he takes some steak knives to the nuts there. How you like that, Duke? And uh, now he has Tasty Taste activated with frigging Revenge. So let's go like this. And a three pill Figaro here. And here comes friggin' Tasty. And he blasts us. Ouch. So he hits me for five there. 
And uh, we're down three life. Ugh. So what's Crink? He's a six power against Iris Morana. Okay. Actually, though, Mim can take Crink, can't she? What do I have to do to beat M. Belaze? He's in, he is a 7 times 9, 63. Yeah, Iris Morana can't beat M. Belaze, can she? Neither can Mim, for that matter. So, let's just beat friggin' Crink Legend. How about that? Um, he's a 6 times 954. Screw it. Screw it. What you got, Crink? Sweet. Gets us for four, gains some pills, and now we beat M. Belays, but I don't think we have enough, do we? We don't quite have enough. Um, he is a seven power. Seven times seven is 49. 49. 43, actually. Yeah, we don't have enough. Dang it. All right. So that's, that's a bit of a heartbreaker there, but oh well. Sometimes these things happen, you know what I mean? Oh man, we lost 30 points there? Damn it. Um, that's, that's brutal. Let's go back here. I think this is our last game. I just want to check and make sure... Because I don't want to play too many games, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, yeah, we got one left. Let's do this. Let's finish it up. We made it into EFC Tower. I like it. Battle starting. Season ends in seven days. And we're fighting Zero Anderson, a Titan level 79. He has um, an even split here of Roots and Nightmare. I have an even split of Montana and Raptors. So, I guess we want to use Raptors against Crazan Legend. I drew I drew 3 2 stars though. That's a that's pretty brutal. I guess, I guess I want Angela to go up against Dudley, huh? Oh, and he's throwing Crazan Legend. Sweet. He's just gonna deliver him to me on a, on a platter here. So. Oh no, I guess he realized that that was a bad idea. Oh, maybe not. Here comes friggin' Crazan. Crazan of the jungle. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to really attack with wild, do I? Let's just, let's just one, we'll one pill mim. Nah, we'll two pill mim. No, we won't. We're, friggin', we're gonna friggin' one pill mim. So if he really wants that four damage, he can have it. Okay, cool. So I'm glad we didn't pill against that. So now I'm going to toss Angelo, and we're going to go... Um, just 
Just gonna one pill Angelo, no biggie. So hopefully he doesn't hit me with Dudley Legend here. Oh really? Is it gonna be G Lorg? That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, so he, so he tosses G-Lorg, and we blast him. Exolande. That's perfect. So now we just need to beat Dudley Legend, right? Pretty much. Let's see, what's wild? Wild is a... He's a three power against Deadly Legend. Yeah. All right. See, Wild is a 6 power against Calumet, is that right? Calumet is a 7 times 8. 56. So I need to be a, f what, a 5? No, I need to be a 60 attack, don't I? With Wild. Which means I can only 1 pill with Ikaro here. So let's do it. So he hits me for six, and that's friggin' game. Ugh, that was ugly. Dang, I hate I let I hate losing the last two rounds. Oh, I guess it's a draw, isn't it? Okay, well, I guess I'll take a draw then. So that leaves us at two forty-eight. Not bad. Uh, what did we start out at? Like 130 something? No, I think we were at 140. So we picked up 100 points. That's decent. So let's open this this here EFC. Excuse me, EFC Tower Daily Box. Give it to me, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're gonna auto reveal here. All right. So we got Bros. We got Tunders. We got Katya. We got creds, battle points, clans, cryptos, and double cryptos, baby. Delish. So uh, that leaves us at 86th of EFC Tower. And uh, not a bad place to be at the end of week two. Or week one, I should say. Uh, week one of two. And uh, let's open our vanilla daily box here. Ooh, we got Ugwe. That's decent. Ugwe, Trixie, battle points, and clans. I like it. All right. Well, thanks so much, guys. Uh, as you know, my name is Hip Hopper, and you've been watching Hoppa's Hip Tips, baby. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe and leave a comment on the vid. And uh, go on over to Couples Chat and subscribe to them. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you want to support me on LibraPay, you can do that as well. Uh, I'll leave that link in the description below. And please share the video with your friends, guildmates, family, loved ones, grandma, I don't know, whoever. And uh, come bring them all back here Monday for some more hot, steamy EFC action, baby. And I will see you all then. Yeah, yeah.